Good morning and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Thursday, October 8th. We're continuing out of Common Prayer, a liturgy for ordinary radicals. O Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us bow down to the Lord and bend the knee. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. Our song for this morning is, I Want Jesus to Walk With Me. I want Jesus to walk with me. I want Jesus to walk with me. All along my pilgrim journey, Lord, I want Jesus to walk with me. You are my helper and my deliverer. Do not tarry, O my God. Our psalm for this morning is Psalm 40, verses 12 through 14. You are the Lord. Do not withhold your compassion from me. Let your love and your faithfulness keep me safe forever. For innumerable troubles have crowded upon me. My sins have overtaken me, and I cannot see. They are more in number than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. You are my helper and my deliverer. Do not tarry, O my God. Our Old Testament reading comes from 2 Kings chapter 25, verses 8 through 12, and then we hop ahead for verses 22 through 26. On the seventh day of the ninth month and the nineteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar, ruler of Babylon, Nebuzaradan, commander of the imperial guard and official of the ruler of Babylon, came to Jerusalem. He set fire to the temple of God, the royal residence, and all the houses of Jerusalem. He burned down every important building. The whole Babylonian army under the commander of the imperial guard broke down the walls around Jerusalem. Nebuzaradan, the commander of the guard, carried the people who remained in the city into exile, along with the rest of the populace and those who went over to the ruler of Babylon. But the commander left behind some of the poorest people of the land to work the vineyards and the fields. Nebuchadnezzar, ruler of Babylon, appointed Gedaliah, son of Achikamben Shaphan, a governor over the people left behind in Judah. When all the army officers and the troops learned that the ruler of Babylon appointed Gedaliah as governor, they came to Gedaliah at Mitzpah, Ishmael, son of Nethaniah, Johanan, son of Kariah, Sariah, son of Tanhumeth, the Netabathite, Jazaniah, son of the Maakathite, and their followers. Gedaliah took an oath to reassure them and their followers. Do not be afraid of the Babylonian officials, he said. Settle down in the land and serve the ruler of Babylon and all will be well for you. But in the seventh month of the royal house came the ten followers and assassinated Gedaliah and the Jews and Chaldeans who were with him at Mitzpah. Therefore all the people, high and low, and the captains of the armed forces fled to Egypt for fear of the Chaldeans. Our New Testament reading continues out of the book of James, chapter 5, verses 7 through 12. Be patient, my dear siblings, until the appearance of Christ. See how the farmer awaits the precious yield of the soil, looking forward to it patiently while the soil receives the winter and spring rains. You too must be patient. Steady your hearts because the coming of Christ is at hand. Don't grumble against one another, my dear siblings, or you will be judged. The judge is standing at the door. To learn how to persevere patiently under hardship, dear siblings, take as your models the prophets who spoke in the name of the Most High. The ones we call blessed are the ones who persevered. You've heard of the patience of Job. Do you remember what God, who is compassionate and merciful, did for him at the end of the story? Above all, my dear siblings, don't swear any oath by heaven or by earth or by anything else. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. In this way, you're not liable to judgment. You are my helper and my deliverer. Do not tarry, O my God. 
Andy Rain of the North Umbria community has written, Do not hurry as you walk with grief. It does not help the journey. Walk slowly, pausing often. Do not hurry as you walk with grief. Do not be disturbed by memories that come unbidden. Swiftly forgive and let Christ speak for you unspoken words. Unfinished conversations will be resolved in him. Be not disturbed. Be gentle with the one who walks with grief. If it is you, be gentle with yourself. Swiftly forgive. Walk slowly, pausing often. Take time. Be gentle as you walk with grief. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, as the seasons turn, creation teaches us of grief, patience, and renewal. Make us good students of these rhythms that we might not hurry the work of grief, but receive the gift of your presence in our time of need. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors.